changing it up. Changing it up. We're all happy about it. That's going to be one of the questions. Uh, we're doing with Bobby Trionis. Uh, uh, please try to keep the two questions on the right side. Uh, Bobby, start with maybe what you like today, especially the first time you some of the resistance. Yeah, I like the first 70 minutes. Uh, I think we could have a lot more goals on the board. Uh, and yeah, we're ruthless in creating. Uh, we need to be ruthless in finishing. Um, that's important in, in games where, where you have uh, total control um, and you're creating opportunities. You need to make sure you, uh, you increase that distance from your opponent. Because um, in these types of games, you're, you know, you're always one play for making it interesting. And the game got interesting after the 70th minute. Yeah, I think the <coughs> the confidence and in, in, uh, of what he's doing there, uh, being more comfortable um, playing there, and then just uh, constantly trying to get better at certain things. Yeah, you know, through through training itself, through his uh, discussions we're having with the coaching uh, team. You know, he's he's got a lot of intelligence uh, to play that position. It's yeah. Something like I said, we thought of in the past, and here you go. He's he's playing it, and he's he's done a very good job. But I think his work rate's been <coughs> been excellent there. And like I've said, you know, he's probably one of the best players on the team at finishing in and around the goal, and uh, through all his years here. Um, now he's showing it a little bit closer in the central axis and closer to the goal. Hey, coach, can I have fun away today? Um, yeah, I'm going to quote you on Trump's previous. It's a different question, but you know, as someone who's seen him at the club for several years, he's played a variety of different positions. Yeah, it's it's important not for our team. It's important in this league. Um, you know, we're like all North American uh, sports. We we have a cap, a roster cap, salary cap. So it's not where two, three players get injured. You can just go out into the open market and pick up players. Um, so you have to have players within your team that can move around. I think that's important. I think that's something that. You know, we established with this club from year one. It's uh, important to have uh, players that can play a lot of different roles in the team. And I think uh, over the long period of the season, that brings you even more success um, because you can withstand any issues to Taron Campbell, Jordan Hamilton, and and all of these other situations. You need to have guys that can play in two, three spots. Um, and some guys who will play a new spot, even though they haven't played it, but they have those qualities, and Kwesi is one of them. Yeah, no. We had a uh, good uh, chat as we were walking over the the central uh, line of the field over to the to the fans there. You know, he was obviously uh, upset with it, and you know, it's not. Uh, part of his quality and, and it happens uh, but like I told him uh, as he got in here there's going to be some bumps maybe those aren't the bumps that you want over these first few weeks um, just to get himself uh, going and, uh, and moving and okay the most important thing today is, uh, is we've got three points and we know that's the most crucial thing in this league because you know one thing we've learned over the history of this league is you know every two weeks things can change uh, quite quickly um, in, in what you're doing and you know these three points gonna put us in a good spot for our next match. Coach, congratulations on the win and congratulations on the new look, as we mentioned. It. Um, we noticed that. I change my colors every week. <laughs> we noticed that you came up with new faces in the first half. Then on the second half, you put your regulars, and, and then we noticed that you, the, the whole team. I mean, the team was on control of the game, but as for as my friend said, that we miss a lot of chances. It's yeah, I think when you look at the, the chances and chances we missed, we're a team that works a lot in our, our attacking principles and how we move the ball. Um, so you can say, you know, we're going to be sharper and work a little bit more on that, but that's what we predominantly work on. You know, our best way of defending is attacking and uh, all of that uh, fun stuff and how we move the ball around. So it's it's one of those games where you want to be a little bit uh, more uh, more efficient. Uh, the problem, though, is if we're sitting here talking about not creating chances, um, that's uh, usually a big issue uh, because then you're waiting for for one moment and 
in one game that can help you, but over the longevity of a season that won't help you. So the important thing is, is we're doing that. Okay, the players just need to be a little bit sharper and in around the goal and making the decisions and being more decisive on, on finishing and sometimes not making an extra pass as we did in a few situations today. You said drastic change from being on fifth, now you're, you came back to second. Probably now yeah. you have to probably take care when you go to Ottawa. Uh, yeah. I know it's a good team, but probably you make the best every time you, you play yeah. Ottawa. Yeah. We're second? Yeah, there you go. They don't know that. Uh, uh, okay, so I know we're in striking distance of uh, of Ottawa. That's the only thing that's uh, that's uh, that's important uh, to us with uh, with a game in hand. Uh, and like I said, because if you look too much into that each and every week, it's, it can become a little bit of a problem. If you're at the top, you think, oh, this is good, everything's great, and in two weeks you're in third or fourth right now. Um, if you ask me, we're at a point in the season where we've played our tenth match today. Uh, we've played our tenth match. And if you ask me, it's close to everyone being around the starting point of the season where everything's kind of even um, as we move forward. But yeah, of course, we put ourselves in a, in a good situation for a match uh, next week. You know, interestingly enough, we've played Valor twice. We've played him twice at home, uh, 10 games in the season, and we'll be playing Ottawa the second game in Ottawa. So it's some things that are also a little bit strange with the schedule that you have to think about and where you get your advantages. And that's why it's important to win this game today. You know, it's, a, it's another home game. We learned last year that our form wasn't the greatest here in, in winning. And, you know, we need to take care of mostly what we do here. And, okay, we have a few days uh, or a quick turnaround to a Friday night match in Ottawa. Uh, go ahead, David. Yeah. Yeah. Good go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, first question for Jermaine. Um, so, with the pick of the game, it's probably to see more so. But, you know, Valor started the season with seven percent of away games. Of course, in this league or in any North American league where you span one uh, part of the continent to the other, you know, it's uh, it's a difficult thing. It's uh, it's not easy. It's not easy in, in how you prepare to go play the match. It's not easy on, based on what your turnaround is to your following match. Um, for teams going from the East Coast to the West Coast, flying back, losing a day, you know, everyone has their, their difficulties. So it plays a massive role. So if you look at a team like Valor, you know, seven games on the road, it's, it's tough. Uh, you know, it's different if all those seven games will be playing in Southern Ontario or Southern Manitoba or, you know, whatever region it is. But uh, we're playing uh, across a continent. You know, this country spans one ocean to another, so it's something that's uh, that's important. It's something you got to try and plan for as a coach. It's uh, it's one of the toughest things uh, that we have to do in uh, in our job. And sometimes, you know, we also don't get these full weeks in between games uh, like we see this week. You know, we're playing a Sunday, and we immediately turn around and play a Friday, which you know gives you two trading sessions uh, to actually uh, work and and do something. Um, you know, in that week. So that's why it's also important for us uh, not to, you know, just train for the opponent but uh, we train on our principles and uh, so we don't have to change a lot from week to week and uh, you know on short weeks or on long weeks that doesn't change really our rhythm okay. thanks guys